With Jawan postponing its release date, the seat had to be filled with a Hindi film to look forward to. While everyone assumed that this may be a gateway to get a theatrical release for the R-rated Bloody Daddy starring Shahid Kapoor, in came a surprise as Jio and Maddox decided to release their indoor set romantic comedy Zara Hatke Zara Bachke starring Vicky Kaushal and Sara Ali Khan on June 2nd. The interesting pairing of Vicky and Sara intrigued me and I wondered whether the audience would have an appetite for a small town rom-com on the big screen, a genre that was hugely popular just a few years ago. The movie focuses on the duo of Kapil and Soumya, who were college sweethearts and are currently married. Sharing the house with their in-laws and relatives, the couple, especially Soumya, played by Sara Ali Khan, feels that they are devoid of privacy as they are constantly hounded by the presence of family members. Having aspirations to have their own home, the rising prices in the market discourages them, only for a government scheme to make them believe that it still could be a possibility. How they formulate a plan to play actor divorce to fit the scheme and get their new home causes massive confusion, leading to a comedy of errors that basically forms the storyline of this film. Here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the movie so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch Zara Hatke Zara Bachke in theatres or not. Beautiful music but horrible placement. One of the biggest standout features about this film is its music album that is composed by the duo of Sachin Jigar. While I have a massive issue with the placement of these songs in the screenplay that absolutely makes no sense, it is an absolute shame that such poetic and melodious music did not get better treatment in terms of picturization. I think Arijit Singh really makes any album even more beautiful and the single Phir Aur Kya Chahiye just perfectly adds to the list of romantic songs after Apna Banale and Tere Hawale that prove Arijit is this generation's Sonu Nigam. The only song that has some form of synergy with the visuals is Tere Vaste and a beautiful song like Sanja is also terribly misplaced in the screenplay. You remember listening to Tose Nena and falling in love with the song and then scratching your head in disbelief that it's from a movie called Mickey Virus starring Manish Paul? You will, I am sure, hear the music album of Zara Hatke Zara Bachke separately and boast about its quality and in retrospect in a few years, place it in the listicle of songs that you can't believe is a part of this story. Supporting Characters While the movie lacks in having absolutely hilarious laugh-out-loud moments and does not have the emotional depth to make you cry even in its final act, there are moments heightened especially by the supporting actors that will really leave a smile on your face. Kanupriya Pandit plays the role of Deepa Mami. She is the quintessential nosy relative that we all know. A person who has no stake in the matter but always has an opinion, who bitches about the world and ends the conversation ki sanu ki, who complains about the food while still asking for her fourth roti, who body shames and maligns the bahu while never taking care of her own health. She is so spot on with the character that each scene she gets on your nerves and it's a case of an actor just getting the character on point. Think of it as the neighborhood gossip auntie played by Dharna on Instagram. She is precisely that. What's crazy about Vicky and his chemistry with Sara is that when you see his interaction with Mehjabeen, played by Shrishti Rindani, you will feel that they have more chemistry than the two leads. They share several cute moments and have a genuine affinity towards each other that made me actually root for their union. Absolutely an opposite direction to the intention of the creators. There is also a male teacher who constantly hits on Soumya, a quintessential performative male feminist type who lacks any form of confidence that does generate some laughs. Forced comedy, shocking editing, scattered screenplay. A lot of the jokes and comedic sequences just don't land. Soumya and her family play the quintessential loud Punjabis who can't get by the day without some shouting or taking a peg or two of whiskeys. She is belittled for her Punjabiness throughout and maligned to be a non-veg eating, alcohol drinking evil. Inamul Haq plays an agent in this film and he has several analogies while pitching them an idea to be a part of the government scheme and all is intended to generate laughter in theatres but it is a huge misfire. The divorce lawyer friend constantly shrieks and shouts in court that is intended to showcase the melodrama of TV serials as the judge rightly points out. But it doesn't represent great comedic writing, just actors trying to churn out the best from what they have. What's crazy is that a beautiful song like Phir Aur Kya Chahiye comes so abruptly in the screenplay, you never feel it does justice to the poetic lyrics. The editing and screenplay of the film will frustrate you because the film's problem is not what it wants to say, but how it wants to say it, scattering its focus in several subplots in the second half and it just does not allow the film to stand on its own two feet. You've got over-the-top play fighting with words like chepda and statements like yaha ki chi khraab hai being flung around like insults, a long-run 
running gag of an inquisitive guard played by Sharib Hashmi and Vicky putting on a get up so bad that even someone as dumb as Tani partner could have figured it out. Its scattered approach really lets the film down and what could have been largely entertaining and emotionally engaging becomes an average fare at the movies. But what is the real problem? difference in acting range. What I've realized seeing Vicky Kaushal even in a film as mid as this is that he has an ability to make even the cheesiest dialogues come across as poetry. You really do feel Vicky is head over heels for Sara's character. He plays couple with such abandon, a miser who is so particular about each penny spent. He is all heart and most of his decisions are taken for the happiness of his wife. He borders on being naive but that's his nature, to be happy with what he has even if it means the roadside chow mein or the makeshift bed on the floor of the living room. This is where the dynamic between Kapil and Soumya becomes interesting because she is constantly perturbed by their circumstances and dreams of a better, more prosperous future. But I cannot deny the difference in sheer ability of actors that is in full display with this movie. You will especially feel this as Sara and Vicky argue with one another while one has a sense of ease with his delivery the other is performative and inconsistent bordering on being loud for the sake of it this is especially true for a scene where Vicky pours his heart out to her and you get the same face and expressions of Sara from her railway station scene in Atrangi Re nothing beats however filling her mouth with five stars in an emotional moment during a song that made me chuckle more than emotional the problem with the film that doesn't soar above being a one time casual watch is that it doesn't tell it with conviction it's neither a situational comedy done right nor is it a romantic drama that will emotionally engage you it's stuck somewhere in the middle focusing on the importance of loved ones that surround us only fleetingly and only having the depth of becoming a long advertisement of five star instead and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram the handles are right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching